In this video, we're just going to play an animation on our skeletal mesh inside of the scene. I think it'll be pretty short, but I just want to show you that if you were to drag your skeletal mesh inside the scene, you'll see that there's a T pose. Let's do it over here. On your skeletal mesh, it's the pink one that you drag in. If you were to look over here and scroll down, or actually it's at the top under animation, where it says use animation blueprint, I'm just gonna put that on use animation asset. And that way I can define an anim, an anim to play. So right here, instead of T pose, let's actually have this playing the, uh, just to show you, let's do the stand up right there. And you'll see that looping and playing is automatically triggered. I probably don't want this to loop if he's standing up, but if this were an idle I, or, or some sort of looped um, animation meant to repeat, you may wanna keep that. Now, if I hit playing right here, it's going to play on start. So what that means, if I hit play, you'll see how he's getting up. All right, then it should freeze. One thing right here is, that, that's what I've told it to do. I wanted it to play the stand up and I wanted it to play on start and I did not want it to loop. And I wanna show you another example over here. Um, I'm realizing that I did not import the idle animation. So I think as practice, you should go back into Mixamo. Uh, nope, not that one. You should go back into Mixamo and get an idle animation and then re-import that just like we did the other one. And once you've done that, you should have something like this where you it, uh, this is a separate skeletal mesh I was messing around with, but um, you'll have your skeletal mesh in the scene and then you can choose some sort of looping animation and then you set it looping and you set it to play on start. And then if you hit play, you'll see how it's just a looping animation playing from start and it will just keep playing. So depending on what you wanna do, uh, you could have your character just have a looping idle or some sort of looping thing to make it feel like it is alive and standing in the world. And then next we'll talk about how to change their animation based off of some sort of trigger.